Good evening, brothers and sisters. I just wanted to have a look at the sky, to be honest with you. It is horrendous. Sorry, the dogs are wanting to go for a walk again. Just had them on. I just come to another place and I spotted this sky and I thought, oh, could this be a sign, you know? <laughs> the sun is setting. And everything is quiet. Very, very quiet. After last night, it was thunderstorms bad thunderstorms last night and it's so quiet is this the quiet before the lord's come I, I really hope so you know i don't know what's going to happen to a lot of things people ask questions what happens to our pets i really don't know but i know there's no tears in heaven so whatever the lord does it's going to be fine i just want to thank everybody who's working hard on discord you know and this is and you know i got a question about i really a troll about the emailing list, you know, why do you want an email list? You're going to email from heaven, ha, ha, ha. I can't understand why brothers and sisters won't just stand together. I can't understand. I was so divided. I struggle with it. And Jesus struggled with it. Soon he's going to come. It will be in the twinkling of an eye. What is the twinkling of an eye? It's, it's in the dictionary as the the speed of light from the front of the eyeball to the, to the back. It's so fast. But the world is so bad at the moment that even here in, in Christian fellowship, it's difficult to find your way. You know, and I, I really, I've never been in a situation like this and I'm never going to stop. If the design is to make me stop, I won't till I go home. Because I love my Lord Jesus, always have and always will. And I've been through much worse than what I get on social media. But we're out to get on social media and it is about reaching people, doing the work until he comes. And the enemy's desperately, desperately trying to stop us doing the work, brothers and sisters, at this time. Desperately, desperately. I do believe that on Rosh Hashanah, the enemy was cast down. He's here now. Or rather, he's banned from there. So this is his only place to be. I praise God that the restrainer, our Lord Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit, is holding back. But you know, things are peculiar. I've never seen a cloud like that covering as it does. It's a serious weather front, that. In the UK. I'm not in the UK. I'm on a little island, an offshore, 70 miles away, which is a bit claustrophobic at times. <laughs> and that's why I like to get out. But, you know, we need to pray, brothers and sisters, and that's what I come on tonight for, for to do that. And it is this evening. It is 7 o'clock this evening. And I want to start to pray, and I want to call people to prayer. You know, pray with me, if you, and even on the Rewind, Father, I just pray that you come back soon, Lord, that you come back on the date, that there's no delay and that nobody can push the date. In fact, Lord, I pray that because of the nature that it will f advance the date. I pray for my brothers and sisters and everybody that is around on Discord, in the email and list, and in everything we do, every social media. I pray that you'll guide us and keep us and make your face to shine upon us, Lord. I call to prayer the nations, Lord, in these end times. We are in a war, a fight like we've never been in. And I am so aware, Lord Jesus, it's coming. It's coming bigger and harder every day now until you come, Lord. And I, we need prayer warriors, Lord. And I ask us, even on this, to inspire people to pray, inspire their days to pray, inspire their dinner hours to pray, Aspire their, aspire, aspire their bedtimes to pray, Lord. That's what I ask. Come, Lord Jesus, come. But we wait, lampsly, waiting for you. Fill us, Lord, with strength. Strengthen us in every sense, every strength of the way, every sense of the way, Lord. Flatten the mountains, raise the valleys, Lord, for us in these last moments. That we walk a straight path and we might be accounted worthy. When we get home, Lord, 
that we can wrap our arms around you, Father God, and be with you for all eternity away from this. In Jesus' name. Not enough prayer, family. The one gift, the first gift we're given is prayer. We're given it before the Lord came because we prayed for him to come. We ask for the Holy Spirit. He give the Holy Spirit. Seek your gifts to fight this war. But it's a call to action in this last time, this last moment. I feel it so strong and I don't think I'm wrong. I haven't got a date, I haven't got an hour. I just got the Holy Spirit. As we wrestle with the Holy Spirit, as we wrestle with things to and fro, just keep putting one foot forward at a time until the job is done. I'm surrounded by grey backs and covids and flies and dogs. It's peculiar, lenticular clouds, heavy, thick set weather fronts over there, calmness. I had to come on. I had to come on and call prayer. We will be doing prayer. But I think the battles are going to get strong in our own lives, in our own hearts, and in our own minds. We're going to be afflicted in many human ways that will prevent us from being active in the Lord's work. Do not let it stop us. Persevere, be hard, be strong, because soon you'll be gone, away from all you've had, all you've known. You'll be home, away from this strange and foreign land. I look back and I can't find many happy moments because there is none in this life. I call you if you're addicted to anything. I call you out and say, turn, turn from it. Come from it now. Come into the Lord's presence. Confess that Jesus is Lord. Believe in your heart. And turn to him. Come to him now. This is solemn tonight. Because this is the way I feel. I made myself public. And I'm not 100% sure why. But I just knew that the timing was right. But God's timing is always right. And always will be right. To strengthen the church and bring it home. The church being his. Those that hear his voice those that do their best to walk within what he tells us to do. Stand strong, brothers and sisters. Stand very, very strong because soon we'll all be together and there'll be none. Can you imagine that? No fight, no argument, no lose. Peace, no tears, no pain, no illness. Here we are in lockdown, or most of the world, in a situation that shouldn't be locked down. Here we are that the news is telling us that it's mostly been invented to lock us down. Nowhere in life, in history, has the healthy ever been locked down. More people die of the flu than coronavirus. We're being deceived. We're being deceived in this end times, brothers and sisters, but it is the end times. That's why we're being deceived. So that many will be lost in this last dash home, as John Bunyan said, the lonely dash across the river. It's starting to become more real every day to me. More real. We've had the misses. We will still maybe get misses. But the season is here. It's time to go. I'm just going to leave you with that, brothers and sisters, while I enter into another week and I take a day at a time. And leave you with, may God bless you, keep you, make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. And remember what, brothers and sisters, above all, hold on. He'll take you through the fire again.